Yeah, hello and welcome back. So Convert with Moss 2.0 is out and Convert with Moss is a sample format converter for open formats. In the first video in this sampling series, I showed you and told you about open formats and I also told you about the Decent Sampler, which is a new kit on the block, which is free, not fully open source, but at least freely available. And this Decent Sampler format is also pretty well documented and it provides a basic feature set like you have, can have key ranges, velocity switches and also provides some effects like a filter or a reverb. And if you look on the top, so Decent Sampler is now also supported as a source format as well as a destination format. So for example, you could create now Bitwig multi samples to Decent Sampler or your wave detector and also create from Decent Sampler files, which are also can find quite some free ones now on the internet internet, either the DS presets or the DS library formats are both supported. A DS library is basically a zipped DS preset or multiple presets together with the samples in one file. So a little bit easier to handle. And it's also important to point out if you use the, the plugin, which is also free on iOS. So on your iPad, for example, you absolutely need library files because DS presets are currently not working on the iOS version of the plugin. So when you choose it as a destination format, absolutely use the library version, which is not an issue. If you need a preset, you can simply use a zip tool and open up the created file and you can still access the raw file. So let's check that out. I simply selected here my file, which contains all my multi sample in raw wave format. So this detection algorithm will detect them. And let's just say I I want to convert my whole library to decent sampler format because I wanted to do that anyway and I want to create it in a library format and as I told you you should always first run analyze to look for issues but now we go straight to conversion and it goes through all the acoustic pianos and this will quite take a while I guess till my full library is processed so see you at the end of the conversion process okay I have to admit that it was a pretty stupid idea to run it on my whole library in a demo video but nevertheless it was quite fast it took 11 minutes okay quite some time but it the library is about 16 gigabytes so this is quite okay and fast i think so we can close it down and have a look at the results so here are all the converted files and let's have a look at maybe let's load some pads here plenty of pads of my good core O1W or whatever we have here in the folder. So I fired up Bitwig and there we can check out the decent sampler plugin. Here it is. It's already also VST3. And here you can either load via file or it also supports drag and drop. Let's get maybe let's get here an old V50 for operator FM synth. And yeah, what I also did the creation process also creates eight controls so normally if you just have the sample groups you only get the sound but cannot modify it in any way and these are some parameters which also the creator creates for you so you get filter cutoff resonance but I have to say filter is pretty weak we have a reverb also not too impressive but it's it's okay and you have an envelope for volume so better than nothing you can say so let's check that out so you can increase the release. Let's check out the filter. Is that not very impressive? Thank <laughs> you. 
Because you see also the, the, uh, the envelope has some issues and also I think the other controls, it's not fully bug free, but nevertheless, you can get your sound going if it's not too complicated, the sound also pitch band is working. And it's the only sampler, I think, on, on iOS where you can simply load up your multi-sample and it works. And uh, on iOS, it's available as an AU, so you can use it in all the hosts. Yeah, if you need a simple sampler, maybe this is something of interest for you and it keeps you going. Uh, you might also wonder what is supported here with decent samplers. So I also updated here my little uh, table. As you see, metadata is not that much here. So you only have the file name, but don't get any additional information information about keywords or something like that. You have groups and you have the samples with velocity and the key ranges. That's basically about it. Also loop for sure, but nothing too fancy. Yeah, I hope you can use it and maybe, uh, yeah, tell me down there in the comments if this is something for you, what you're doing with that, if you can use it and what you might like to see in the future. Until then, make some funky music. <laughs>